All right, so we've got our uh, Vans airplane kit ordered and on the way, uh, but still looking at like a four to six week delivery time. Uh, so over the next few weeks, I'm just gonna be getting familiar with the tools, getting familiar with the building process. And today, that looks like is building a toolbox. This is the uh, Vans practice uh, kit where you yeah, use the aluminum, use all the, the components you will when you're building the airplane uh, to build a, yeah, build a little toolbox. Step one, just gonna be going through inventorying all the parts and uh, then we'll get all this, this blue plastic material taken off. Okay, looking at the plans here, we have successfully accomplished the uh, inventory of the kit and removed all the plastic coating. So next step uh, in this build and then uh, most of the most of the aluminum parts are going to be working with for the airplane too. It's going to be uh, what's called deburring. So all of these uh, aluminum components are punched out of solid sheets and, and bent before they're sent out to you. Uh, but they could have like sharp edges or uh, little, little nubs and stuff. Maybe hard to see if the light catches it just right. There you can kind of see this shiny spot on the edge of this guy. Maybe. Anyway, uh, you felt the edge of aluminum or sheet metal before, like you're familiar with the, those little sharp nubs. Now the fun part of the deep bearing is doing all of the holes as well. Uh, so yeah, that's next. This is a Clico. When it works, you get these special pliers. Expand that out, and we will stick the end. That's the wrong side. Toolbox. It's just a little clamp. Fits into these holes. According to the instructions, we're going to do every other hole here. We're pretty close to it, and with the intent uh, that we're going to match drill out the holes that we don't have covered. So all we're going to do there is take a number 40 drill bit and just basically enlarge these holes. These holes are a little small, uh, so we'll enlarge them both together on the parts that we're going to be riveting together. These basically just act like a temporary rivet to get everything held in nice and tight. We'll zip in every other hole and uh, then move the Clicos and zip in those holes. So we got all the holes drilled out and took all the Clicos off of that. So we're back to uh, uh, separate pieces. Now the next, now the thing is since we drilled out all these holes, all the holes are nice and rough, kind of like the edges when we started. So we're gonna go and deeper those uh, just with a little countersink, just a single flute countersink. So the next thing we're going to do is dimple these holes. So we'll dimple the end piece and then dimple the, uh, the, the part where they're mating up on the toolbox as well. Uh, just so those sit in uh, with each other and it'll be a little clearer once we get done. So these are, these are dimple dies. These are little 330 seconds uh, dimples. So I'll fit these little holes. I'll show you how to get with these set up. And the, uh, I don't know, the C tool. So we actually want the dimple to go towards the inside. Uh, so we'll want the outside facing up. I'm just gonna make sure I get the right side on this guy. Set this up and then you just whack it with the hammer. We're gonna go ahead and get the hinge set up. Uh, so I've already measured uh, the different segments of the hinge. And just got some marks there. And I'm just gonna cut those to length real quick. Hinges are cut to length now. And so I'll be attaching the body, or yeah, the piece that attaches to the body here. And just put some clamps on that and match drilling to match those holes. And then repeat the burring process, or the deburring process on both of those pieces. Actually just went through and marked them all with a sharpie. And so I'm just gonna take the hinge off now and run it over to the drill press. That looks pretty good. 
And now I'm just gonna go through and open up all of these holes to the appropriate side and size. And we'll get to dimpling and deburring. Yeah, so I think to get a real good look at this, we're gonna need to put the uh, maybe the sides, so kind of left side and the right side. Wait to a minute. These are all dimpled up and ready to go. Just get them lined up here, and then we'll start riveting. So there are a couple of different riveting methods that we can use. Uh, I'm gonna cheat and use the easiest one. And by cheat, I mean I'm gonna do the smart thing and just use the easiest one. Which is gonna be this uh, pneumatic squeezer. Okay, so we put some Clicos in to hold that in place and we can see our first rivet. We got most of the rivets done here on the end, but these ones down on the bottom I could not quite reach with the pneumatic squeezer. Just the, uh, it's a little taller than the yoke, so I couldn't quite reach. So now I get to show you how to back rivet using the rivet gun. I went ahead and put all four rivets in there and just put a strip of tape over that. You can see those four sticking out. Those are not, uh, these rivets have not been set yet. You can see it compared to the one next to it. So what we're gonna do, we've got this uh, backing plate. I'm gonna turn it up on its end here and use this rivet gun with the uh, back riveting attachment to smash those guys down. Okay, so we got our sides, both sides, all riveted in. Kind of getting back on the same page as our instructions. So going back through the top of that, uh, I've got this front stiffener clicoed on, and I got our hinge put back up here. I think the next thing we're gonna do is uh, get that marked and drilled with a lid. So it looks like I have officially dorked up the hinge here. Uh, not the end of the world, but only because it's a toolbox. Uh, this is an airplane that probably be in a ordering new parts phase right now. It's just some confusion in the instructions. It talks about reversing the hinge segments. And it, you know, to me, I had no idea what that meant, so I, I took it to mean uh, take this piece off and literally reverse it. Uh, so when I was doing my initial measurements, uh, I did it with that in mind. Now that I've got this all put together, and really that might be the where it initially went wrong, right? Uh, now that it's all put together, this hinge sits a lot better in the configuration uh, that it was shipped. So you can see how, how flush and how nice that, that hinge is gonna sit. So bottom line, uh, we'll go ahead and drill it out. It won't be too big of a deal. We'll wind up missing just that one little rivet on the end, but the toolbox will still function and it won't be the end of the world.
Oh, it's not perfect, but uh, it's a learning process. Better to beat this up than beat the plane out. <laughs>